as well eat it. Okay. The hot water faucet flashes brightly for a moment. Okay, that's, if I remember correctly, fire resistance. Good, so if we ever see any of those again, we'll know it's fire resistance. Now, I figure the good thing about this is it means I can uh, dip... Ah, there we go. More confident in my weapon skills. I figure I can uh, more readily drop um, rings into uh, sinks, because then I can just come over here and buy them if I have one of those ones. So, uh... Main problem is I don't have any way to check whether those are cursed or uncursed. And I don't want to spend a lot of money buying them just to, uh... Well, hmm. I could get the duplicates, put one of them in here, and... That could work. I'll head back here after Mine Town. There might be something there I want to buy that's pretty expensive. But first, we'll head back to the um, shrine. I mean, the altar. Just to make sure this one isn't cursed also. Well, we've got fire resistance. <laughs> and you know, I remember the first time I was playing that hack and I found the Gnomish Mines, it was just, I don't know, it's just interesting because I'm like whoa things are totally different this must be this is a different part of the game and then I you know started having all the trouble with the dwarves because my initial characters were all barbarians hmm. why not I'll just uh, grease a few of these things uh, these are greased for because they're um, metal so if I run into a rust monster, it'll have to dissolve the grease before, it, or uh, like a. If I run into a rust monster or rust trap, it'll have to get rid of the grease before it can um, rust them. Also, although I don't think I have to worry about the, that for a while, uh, a greased helmet will sometimes protect you from mind flayer attacks, and uh, also. See, like, rust trap right there. Of course, it didn't hit any of those anyway. And they uh, greased whatever your outer armor is. In this case, it's just a ring mail. If they, uh, it'll make it harder for things to grab you. Actually, I'm not sure if they can grab you when it's like that, but I know it at least makes it harder. At any rate, um, sea monsters can't use their drowning attack on you if it's like that. Except I am not anywhere near where I would be finding those. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is what NetHack is about. Just going through levels and hacking things to bits. Or at least, that's what I enjoy about it. Just going through it, trying to avoid being killed, but also it just that element of being able to hack things away, which I guess is where the hack comes from, in that hack. Ugh, burdened. Okay. I'll just drop two. Good. That way I'll keep uh, it for food and want that, I might want to wear it. <clears throat> well, I wonder what that was. It didn't leave a corpse, so I can't know.
I'd love to wear those, but I just can't. I'm a I'd love to wear the um, iron shoes. I'm just too uh, carrying too many heavy things, unfortunately, at the moment. I need to wait until I either get more strength or uh, to get a mithril coat. Maybe he has one. No, he does have a wire ring, though. Well, I didn't find any... Ah, um... oh, there's the staircase. Sorry, dwarves, but, you know, I really need those dwarvish mythical coats, so you have to die. Sorry! Oh, come on. Come on, you stupid dwarves. If you give me a dwarvish mythical coat, I'll probably stop attacking you. Let's see. Probably isn't a bag of holding, but let's try uh, putting. Nah, I don't think it is a bag of holding. Might as well keep it anyway. I'll get rid of some of this stuff. Too many things. <laughs> well, if I want to be burdened anyway, I might as well uh, just head into mine town and uh, check around quick. I'm fast even if I am burdened, so. Uh, Hi, monkey. Yes, I want that ring. <laughs> oh, well, I can tell by the price it's not a magic lamp, but at least I, uh... No, I'll know an oil lamp when I see it. Let's uh, check around the other stores. Oh, good. stupid nymphs. Man, I hate nymphs. <laughs> 